So first we'll start off with a product called Sanye, who manufactures plush for Nintendo, Kirby, Animal Crossing, Splatoon, and uh, many other IPs actually. And so through these we're able to import them directly from Asia. And these are the same style. You'll see that it's also written in Japanese. So this is direct import. It's not rebranded or anything like that. You see the Little Buddy logo right there. And this is actually the first product that Little Buddy was able to import over 12 years ago. They did start from very humble beginnings from about literally a thousand square foot warehouse to where they are today. Um, and as you can see, Animal Crossing was very huge during COVID and we could not keep enough of that. But since then, even though the brand has become larger, it has, uh, the anticipation has been as strong. Um, curry's been very solid. All you see, there's many different variations of curry, but yet they still do very well. Uh, this one's the uh, original one you'll see at a lot of big box retailers and a lot of specialty stores. And at Little Buddy, we actually service um, omni-channel, starting from e-commerce to big box toy stores, down to the mom and pop shops, actually, which they still do because that's who got to where they are today. So our MOQs are really low, only at six. Um, this is the bread and butter, Mr. Mario right here, with his 500 different iterations with you know, Metal Mario, among other ones. Um, you'll see Yoshi in particular, many different colors as time goes on. Um, this is the good guys and the bad guys, Koopa Troopas, Bowser, Shy Guy, Little Mario, goes on and on and on. But as you can see, it also becomes larger. We have uh, the larger Marios and Luigi's. We can talk about Bowser. Sometimes you get some specialty ones like here when they have the uh, wedding for Meet Mario and Peach, um, but those are very limited offerings and do, do become true collectibles. To wrap it up right here, you see Zelda, or rather Link, but the Legend of Zelda genre. Um, and then there's Zelda herself down there, but you'll see it's from the ones from the previous versions as well as the, um, not the most recent iteration, but the first version that was on the Switch that came from the Wii U. So here's the bigger ones. Um, obviously got shelves, you know, Kirby's. And we just started bringing these in more because uh, you know, a couple of years ago, things were very expensive to bring in. The cost of containers were very high. But since things are finally getting settled, we're gonna start bringing these in a little bit more because it takes a lot of space. All right, we'll move on to the next category right here. Um, this is Taito, who manufactures um, anime type products. They're licensed heavily involved around Chainsaw Man and Hitsune Miku and many other um, Kutsukitsu type items, as you can see. Uh, as you go through these, you'll notice that everyone has their own style in terms of how the product team develops it. Um, and they always have their little bit of flair. You'll see like the Hatsune Mikos have lots more like a, you know, the dress is very well crafted and just the design is really well done, actually. So this is the Furu line, F-U-R-Y-U, -U, you can see at the top right there. And this their particular line, there's, they have a couple of lines that are claimed to fame. One of them is the Baikyu Bunny, which is um, a very eccentric character as you can see. But they also have Hatsune Miku, as well as Ray and Ram, and many other uh, specialty items. And then they go really cutesy with the uh, Spy family, these are all called the Kakes. And then the good old Chainsaw Man plush right there. Yeah, that one's pretty popular. We're continuing the Furu line right here. But these are called Noodle Stoppers. So in Japan, when they, you know, pop open the ramen, put the hot water in, they'll put these on top. Um, but these are kind of rebranded for the US, more as the shelf sitters. Because, you know, people who work from home seem to display this a lot on their computer cubicle areas. It's been taken up. It's pretty cool. But as you can see, they're very well crafted, sitting down. 
um, multiple type IPs from the cutesy stuff to more of the serious IPs. Um, it can always range in different shades. Every one of these groups are always looking for new licensors to work with, to build new brands. As of right now, Chainsaw Man is uh, extremely popular IP, but um, yeah, the rest are all relatively pretty strong. Called, this is actually a brand new product called Ichiban Kuji Figure. It's a mystery prize game, but as you can see, this one right here is the Nadafu Anniversary Edition. These comes in box of sixes. You have to get a mystery prize ticket, and you will one of six of these figures. But you can see, put all three of them together, you get to get to create the special anniversary IP. These are actually a test product, so it's going to be very limited true collectible. Quite frankly, I'm not exactly sure where they're going, but it's going to be very difficult for a lot of people to find. However, as you can see, it's really well crafted, especially with the background. But again, this is a mystery prize game, so you have to play the ticket, you buy one, and you'll be guaranteed to win a figure regardless. Yeah, this one's going to be sick. Yeah, and these, as you can see, they all consolidate and connect into one big picture, so it becomes a huge diagram. So we'll go back to our classic Ichiban Kuji game, which is over here. Oh, actually, you know what? They're over there. We'll go back over here. Yeah, so we'll wrap it up with Ichiban Kuji. So here we're entering the core Ben Presto, which is the benchmark of anime figures. Um, they have Dragon Ball and One Piece exclusive. They're one of the only companies right now that do Naruto, which is still extremely popular in the US market. I'm told that it's not as popular in the Japanese market for some reason. Um, Jiu Jitsu Kaizen, as we all talked about before. But as you can see, they have a huge variety of options. The pre orders can vary about between about 60 to 80 products a month. But they diversify very well, very, very well made. Nothing much more to add other than what you're seeing right there.